Hey, Young Sound Click. Guess where I'm at? I know. See my beautiful dress? Isn't it gorgeous? I am at Diva Donations right here in Boardman. And behind me, all around me actually, are tons of dresses. And they're like, many of them are brand new. Every color you could imagine. It's incredible. And I'm about to show you all around and introduce you to this amazing organization and how you or someone you know may be affected and may actually be able to come and use one of these beautiful gowns to go to prom, homecoming. But I'm not going to tell you about it. I'm going to get let Kristen tell you all about it. So without further ado, meet Kristen Bodendorfer. You got it right. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> Hi, all right. <laughs> tell us where we're at and what we're, all, what we're doing around all these dresses. Beautiful oh, dresses. Thank you. Well, we are at Diva Donations. We are located at 8590 Hitchcock, Hitchcock Road, Boardman, Ohio. And that's going to bring you to what looks like a church. Yes. Okay. There's two parking lots. So you want to come around uh, to, the back to the back one. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And we are only open by appointment. Okay. So you have to go to divadonations.com to make your appointment. Very cool. And okay. We are surrounded by dresses that have been donated by students in our area, local businesses, um, local stores, and this, believe it or not, started with 15 dresses in my daughter's closet. Amazing. Almost 11 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about, I mean, I'm just looking at the sheer number of dresses, guys. And this is just one room, just so you know. But I'm just looking at the sheer number of dresses here. And just amazed that that started with one mom in 15 dresses. Yeah, and four daughters and one son. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because they were your first volunteer team, they right? Were. They oh, were. Look at this, guys. I'm just going to do a quick pan over here. We got so many different colors. Look at this. I just, this makes me want to dress up. So, guys, we need to have a ball. And come dress up. <laughs> okay. We can definitely help you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So tell us um, a little bit about the heart. Like who it, who is this for? So this is for anybody in need. Um, as far as okay, I am a mom of five children. Yeah. My last set were twins. Um, wow. We started Diva Donations because my daughter, when she was in high school, had a friend who tried to go to a dance in jeans and a t-shirt. And um, oh. they wouldn't let her in the building. And she was being raised by her grandma. And so that's how we ended up with 15 dresses because we would buy the dresses at thrift stores oh and my. put them in her closet. So it's for anybody who, <sighs> we are here to basically take the financial stress off of families during a special occasion or event. My and goodness. that includes a school dance. I know. Oh. As I know what it's like to try and figure out how you're going to put gas in the car and pay for a dress and your daughter to go to an event. And look beautiful. Yes. Look top of the, I mean, like not just a, just not just a dress that was a hand-me-down, but right. a really beautiful dress. Right. Yeah. Right. We want to make sure that the girls that come here have a boutique experience so something cool. that you know they never expected when they walked in the door <laughs> i love it i love it i'm telling you guys i went through here and picked out like 10 dresses that i just want like and i'm not even like a dress up the person all the time um okay so tell us what that looks like um let's walk down here a okay. little bit and um tell us what that looks like so from start to finish okay How pretty so what would happen is the girl would come in Okay. And she would sign herself in. And that's at our door up, up at the front. Do you want to walk up there? Um, not yet. Not okay. yet. Because I still want to go in this direction okay. too. Okay. So they, she would sign herself in. And then we would assign her a fairy godmother. If we have enough of a team. Um, usually... Usually we have five here, but um, sometimes wow. it's only like two of us. Okay. So, you know, but we try and assist them as much as we possibly can. You yeah. can have someone sitting at the door and then we'll take them back here for prom. We'll tell them the sizes. We go all the way from a zero all the way up to a size 30. 
Wow, yeah. that's amazing. So something truly for everyone. Yes. Love it. We Love it. Absolutely. We want to make sure that no girl misses a dance because she has nothing to wear. Right. Okay, so you have dressing rooms up there. Yes, we, we do. We'll show you those. But um, So they pick a dress. They find a dress that they love. Yes. And then what? So then we had go on to pick shoes. And jewelry. So cool. The whole experience. And a, a purse. purse. Yeah. So cute. And we even have shawls and even little jackets. We have like a pieces parts. Very nice. And little like bouquets. Yes, we have. And boutonnieres. Mm -hmm. Guys, and truly And we even have ties for your guy. So I you just have to tell us what color you want. And we have them here. That is so cool because that is so beautiful to see um, young couples coordinating that's so cute. It always makes me smile. And we even have, for the girls, we have um, strapless bras and long line bras that were donated to us from Elmo's. Um, the new owner so cool. donated over 600 items to us to be able to give to the girls. Incredible. And when they come back, they don't have to bring that back. They get to keep that. Right. And <laughs> honestly, undergarments is a whole new expense, a whole nother expense. Yes. To have it truly... Uh, to have it like if you if you have that kind of dress where you want a little support or yes. even like the proper lift, I mean that's all expensive. Well, we've had girls come in like with grandma's bra on, and sometimes it's just oh. a foundation issue yeah. as far as getting the right foundation under the dress. Yeah. So we want to make sure, and Elmo's new business I love owner that. Come is on. helping us do that. I love that so much. Okay, so we're going to continue talking about this and the details and what the girls do um, in, like, well, why, why don't you tell us the, the cool way that you have for the girls to give back. Okay. Yeah. So, the way, way it works is the girls do put a deposit down on the dress. Now, for prom, it is a $50 deposit. Okay. But if they bring us a letter that states they donated two hours of volunteer service, helping any 501c3 charity in the area, in their community, they get their entire deposit back. Come on. It costs them nothing. Love that. So cool. And that program is for, remind me the ages again. So the ages are school age okay. all the way up to college and military as well got it and okay. um, that is our kindy currency program love that okay so beyond that now let's talk wedding bridal parties mother of the brides let's talk that okay so we do have those items as well okay um those items are sold online we okay. sell those and that is to fund diva donations yes. to keep our doors open pay our for rent. the young for the yes. students yeah for the okay students. Mm -hmm. So as so, you can see behind me, there's some mother of the bride here. Look at that. We even have communion dresses. Aww. So if you have someone who is going up for a communion dress, we have communion dresses. Um, we have a boutique called DD Boutique. Okay. It's on Facebook. We're trying to get it online. I will say I'm not absolutely perfect <laughs> on it. But you can always email me at divadonations at gmail okay. and say, I saw something. Can I come in and see it? Yes. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So these are Mother of the Bride. In there, we'll see some more. In the next, in another room, we'll see some wedding party and that type of yes. thing. But let's look at these, these uh, wedding gowns because I'm so in love with some of these gowns oh. and um guys she doesn't rent these or whatever you could come buy these and wait till you so go ahead and take us in there. okay we're gonna go this way and so these are also sold online okay okay awesome okay. um also with the with the um wedding right yes so many people can't afford a three thousand dollar dress, right? Or two thousand dollar dress, right? Right. But they still want to look beautiful. And guys, wait till I show you these some of these dresses, man. It makes me want to pick a couple out myself. Not that I need a couple, but <laughs> all right. It's hard to kind of fully get the whole experience because of. Let me show you this one I love back here. Look at just look just love this one. Where's that one that I loved? Um, is it over here? Yeah, so guys, look at this. I mean, seriously, so tell us a little bit about how this works then. 
so basically these dresses are priced anywhere from 1800 to $3,000 and um, yes I love that. they um, sell for $300 here yes come on but you that you will find them online so we yes. are not don't we come are not in a here yeah boutique. yeah we don't have champagne you might have to carry <laughs> your own dress and they, there is no frou-frou or frillies here right right okay <laughs> and they'll see the ones that are selling online yes you said. okay yes. like We're look everything from lace if you want to come sleeves. and look you can message yeah and we do have some vintage ones i love it i love it no ones. no there, that's a thing <laughs> that is definitely a thing sorry guys i know my camera is i'm kind of whipping it around here but I want you to see some of it. just look at that oh it's beautiful oh, you, you were like which <laughs> yes yes this yes one. I love this one the, look at ruffles. that totally princess <laughs> right there I love it love it love it yes and as you can see we have mother of the bride as well okay yep here we go the bride. oh and that's so important so and important. It really is just to help um, a lot of our girls that. that come in and have been coming to. Is that a veil? Years. It, it, it's either that or oh, a it's a, it's a train. Okay. We have veils too. Wow, <laughs> guys. Ah, oh, so I love that you're able to do this because, like you said, this funds the part that you do completely for free. Right. Totally reliant on donations. Tell us a little bit about the donation aspect. Like, can people donate? What do you take? That so type of thing? we take basically anything that's dresses. So, um, and what we can't use, we make sure it gets to someplace else, whether it's a uh, uh, dress to succeed in Youngstown nice. or Common Ground Church where they do their annual giveaway. So that's if we fantastic. get like a cotton dress or, you yeah. know, something like that, we're not going to use that. So we'll make sure it gets to the person that, that needs love it. it. Great organizations coming together. I love and it. we have tons of drop-off locations. We have Coventry Lighting in Canfield. Okay. We have Posh Places in North Lima. Oh. We have Angela Christa's in um, Poland or on Western Reserve. It's a hair salon. And we have um, Clothes Mentor in Howland. Really? Mm hmm And you work with all of them? All of them. Come on. Yes. So they're drop-off locations. Oh, that's so yeah. great. They opened up their businesses to be our drop-off locations. We take vintage. We take dresses, shoes, jewelry. We even take broken jewelry. We take okay. flowers because you saw our boot yes. and her Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So we take flower arrangements. And we also take Ipsy bags and unopened makeup. Wow. Come on. That's beautiful. And now let's, as we walk back into there, cause I want to show them some okay. more, um, um, tell us about how to volunteer. Like you guys rely so much oh, on volunteers, right? We need right? volunteers so bad, especially, um, we are, um, an, a board of members that, um, as you can see, I'm a little bit physically disabled. Yeah. And we have a board member who is legally blind, so she can only do so many things. Wow. Um, and, and look she, what you guys have accomplished. Yes. yes. <laughs> they and just moved into this facility, by the way. So we really need um, some able bodies that are able to help us. And even if you can't lift anything, you could help us just check in girls. That would be wonderful. Help us hang jewelry. Help us sort shoes. Help us. There's so many things, and this is the other thing. You can bring your, your daughters, your granddaughters, your nieces. Um, we're gonna say like 10 and up. Wow. You wanna put them into an environment, number one, that's clean and safe, and um, it's so much fun. You're playing in Cinderella's closet. <laughs> right, right, I mean, especially seniors. Guys, if your grandparents or moms or dads are sitting there, um, with nothing to do and they're just wanting to feel like they're still productive and whatever they could come sort they could come help so if they know sewing this they just oh. lost their seamstress guys sit, yes. plant like plant that seed because we need we are nothing without our senior population Absolutely. they we stand on amazing shoulders and so definitely spread the word that's a i know so many people who are retired and they're just looking for something to keep yes, themselves busy we can definitely use your help you can help us just even peg earrings like don't think that because you can't 
physically run around like a maniac or <laughs> lift right. a thousand pounds that you can't help us. There's so much to do. And if you just take that little bite from us, yeah. then it's something less we have to do. Very it's cool. so helpful to us. Very cool. So before we go into the main part of the Diva donations, I just want to, there's a door right through there and that is where they house a whole um vintage, vintage. collection <laughs> which you will also find at their diva donation boutique yep dd boutique dd boutique which is the part that they sell so you could find that online um but yeah they have all kinds of like vintage sweaters blouses um yeah dresses they have a whole 80s racket <laughs> Oh yeah, eighties dress Here's rack. The yeah, eighties rack. You have an eighties event coming up. <laughs> right. This is all for sale. Right, right. Yep. Here we go. Look at all this eighties dresses. And then so, behind that, I have communion dresses. People say eighties <laughs> is the best time, seventies and eighties. So there you go. I would have to agree. I enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> right. A few more wedding dresses. Look at this, here. guys. A whole nother room here. Look at this. I love it. Um, beautiful dress. I just, mm. Oh, it's, it's, we love this dress. That is just so pretty. That would just make such a good quinceanera dress yes. or sweet 16. And we help with quinceaneras too. It's any special occasion oh, and event. Yeah, I love that. And, um, schools. I know that you've, tell us about the, the, as I show them around, tell us about that last, uh, school. Oh, Youngstown, er, Rayon Early College did their quinceanera ball and they needed all pink ball gowns. That's we so cool. helped them. We've helped Job's daughters. We've helped. What Night is Job's to daughters? Shine. I had two Night to Shine girls here last week. Aww. So these are all our shoes. Look at that. Um, what is Job's Daughters? Um, it is a, um, a Mason's type of organization. Okay, okay. Um, I'm not really familiar with it. But it's where yes. a dress-up event? Yes, okay. it's a dress-up event. We've even helped have churches, like if they've had a ball. Oh, we yeah. Have, and I don't know if you can see in the pack, we Jeez. have our Cinderella carriage. I, We're hoping to get <laughs> that, that. Um, so set cute. up here eventually, so we'll have like, a little photo. Look at that. Photo. Oh, photo op. Yeah, photo oh, Okay, <laughs> you know what I thought that was? I, I just, I... I I knew it was like something fun, but I wasn't sure. I didn't know it was Cinderella's yeah, carriage. Yeah, it's Cinderella's carriage. Look at all these dresses. So cool. So these are a little bit like um, for beautiful, fun events, not the full size ball gowns, um, but still just beautiful so like kind of sort of. Winter formal. Yeah. Uh, basketball, homecoming. Wow. And we go, you know, junior high can come here as well. You know, elementary, we don't have those sizes. But, okay, yeah. But, you know, junior high girls, we, we would help them, too, go to a dance if they wanted to. Right. It's, you know, basically the schools. I love it. Okay, and then back there are the uh, private dressing rooms. So you have your privacy when you're uh, changing. And then you get to kind of come see, you know, if something doesn't work out, you get something else. You have, like she said, a fairy godmother. I yes, love it. Yeah, fairy godmother. So, okay, tell us a little bit, maybe share a story or something. Just tell us a little bit about the lives that you've seen impacted by this wonderful Oh, gosh, place. there's just there's just so many. Um, you know, we've had girls that, you know, they don't have that parent figure to come and and help them we've had you know we've had children from homes come and get dresses and so wow. having that fairy godmother to just spend that extra time with them um helping them pick something out yeah is something that um they definitely uh enjoy Beautiful, beautiful. I love that so much. And I know privately and probably not on camera, you've shared um, some specific instances, which is really moving to to not just know that, hey, you're helping people, but to hear the individual, some of the individual stories that have um, – just so been so influential and just yeah i love yeah, that I so much yeah one, that's okay it is a beautiful story and yeah. i would have never ever um would have never ever thought about that yeah so, yeah yeah beautiful you know, just yeah i've i've had moms here that you know have basically said i never thought my daughter would ever wear a dress like this and and i gotta tell you we have girls come in here and they're like 
I'm not trying anything <laughs> on, you know. Um, <laughs> right, right. Or you know, they're they're hoodie, they're hoodie. Right, and, um, yes. And to it's watch very protective. them transform mm. when they try something on um, is amazing. And then to watch the mom kind of be in tears at times you know <laughs> because sure. i've been there i know what it's like yeah. to like go how am i going to do this so you know diva donations is basically here to relieve the financial stress empower the girls to I help themselves and not feel like they're that guilt that they're bringing to the family because how are they going to do yes, it yes 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 um and then encouraging them to give back to the community which is them recognizing that they can be part of the magic in their community of helping yes. the world. Yes, yes. And then hopefully building leadership skills and civil responsibility. Yeah, You know, right. all those things. I think that all comes as a result of looking good, of feeling beautiful for girls, of feeling powerful for boys. I mean, there's just, there's, it's so amazing. And very rarely am I Am I like looking for words, but I just have to, I, I think so highly about what you do. I've heard about it for a long time. This is my first time here. I'm so excited to be actually here and able to like see it and kind of talk to you. So super thankful for what you do and your team. Well, and yeah, you know, we have, we have a hairdresser that does updos for $15. What? Yeah, we oh. have Linda, Linda Cochran does updos for our girls for $15. Come on. Yeah, and wow. we have a nail lady who does a whole set of acrylics and paint for $25. What? Yes. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. So it's, so it's just, like, it's such a team. It's like the team here, but there's yes. team outside too. Yes. And, and I have a really um, big thing that is coming up. I have been in contact with a hair extension company who is donating Two hundred dollar hair extensions to anywhere from five to ten girls for their prom. Wow! I'm getting the details right now. Come but yes. on, yes. that's so, so great. Yeah, I love that so much. That's so cool. And guys, seriously, if you want to be a part of this in any way or know anybody um, that could use this, please, please, please pass the word along. Please. And then if you like, they want, they could donate on your website, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Just to help make this. But I just, I just love the overarching theme here is that you're not alone. No matter what challenge that you face in this wonderful area and not every area has this, but we do here in Youngstown, Ohio. And that's just, you're not alone in whatever challenge you face, even trying to make your daughters feel beautiful you have a team and right. i love that and we so want much. and we want the kids to know that they're not alone even yes. if they feel that they're alone in their own right space yeah oh yeah there are people in our community that care that because care. this would not be here mm -mm. this this says it all community yeah this says it all and then plus the other people that you've said now okay so that leads me into our last and final question that i always like to ask um so i know you've dealt with a lot of people It'll be hard to limit this to three. It doesn't have to be nonprofits. It could be just businesses that you love. Okay. But what are three other either local nonprofits or businesses that you love and you're like, you've got to go check these people out or this place out? Okay. I know I'm putting you on a spot here. Okay. <laughs> so um, I think Dress to Succeed is a wonderful organization. They help so many that are coming out of a system that um, – just to give them a fresh start. So cool. Yes. Um, common ground and common common ground church. Okay. And common good. Okay. Are two. They're connected. So I'm going to count them as one. Okay. That, no, that's <laughs> perfect. Okay. And they're out in North Lima, they're right? They're in North out, okay. Lima. And just a wonderful church that really saved us. We would not be here without them. Come on. Yeah. So um, common goods then from common grounds, they teach people with special needs how to garden yes and do. and i guys i only know this because she mentioned it to me yes. earlier um teach people how to garden and make like j homemade jams and jellies and stuff and preserves and oh, everything like that's that so yes. beautiful and, and they go and they sell them at the um Ar arbel or arbel uh markets okay over in i think columbiana that is so cool okay yeah. and then what's the third one? Oh goodness okay um well I'm going to say um, Moab House. 
Oh. Which is the, you know, housing foster care um, organizations and, um, you know, United Way as well. Okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. We got four. We got four. But Moab House, it helps um, H- housing, fosters aging out of this, yes, the foster system. Yes, and I have system. a personal experience with this because I was a foster mom without being a foster mom. Oh. Um, and I had a child in my home that was aging out and trying to find help for him at the time. And this was quite a few years ago. It wasn't there. So I realize how important that is, that these children need to be given a place where they can get guidance and, and life skills and lessons that they normally would have gotten had they been involved in a um, stable family. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to show us around, and thank you for what you do. I know, uh, yeah, I'm just amazed and wowed. So I hope, guys, I hope um, enjoyed this tour of Diva Donations (laughs) and enjoyed meeting Kristen. Hello. (laughs) But um, more importantly, I hope that if you find yourself in a position where you could use uh, the services that they provide or even come and help and add your creativity or add your your manpower um that this uh definitely has been uh good for you guys yes to get to know yes i'm so glad that you guys were able to come out and see it and see where we're at and um we would love to have you join our fairy godmother team (laughs) (laughs) so as i always say you guys are the best part of what makes youngstown click you guys are amazing um i'm so thankful to be in the click with you and i will talk to you later Estate romantica E siamo davvero due eroi Che oggi sfidano il tempo È un amore profondo Il sentimento che ci scoppia dentro Per me sei bello